pesky cough is still there. Come on. Stop being a potato and let me look at my stream. There we go. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> so I have 234 health potions. <coughs> I am taking... My dog. Yes. Taking her. Actually, I'm gonna uh -huh. take. Let's go ahead and take Indeed. Liliana. <coughs> um. So we have two range fighters. And before we talk to Flemeth, I'm also going to figure out. <laughs> what the one um, thing is that Liliana has equipped that keeps freezing her. <coughs> Song of Courage. Bonuses. I think that's the one that she has that she keeps using in battle and it is irritating. <coughs> <coughs> I wish I could just remove that. We're going to assign this to there. And hopefully that stops her from being stupid. Let's also give her some more constitution. Strategize. And we'll summon this, which means if we go here, <coughs> I can also assign this to here. All right. <coughs> so let's go ahead and save real quick before we attempt this again. <coughs> Fingers crossed that we can get through this. And so you lovely Morrigan has at le Aww. You think you're the first to come for it is uh, now thank you. come. If she kicks my butt this Finally, time something that can call me <laughs> Let's go ahead and get 
<laughs> it only took me three tries. <laughs> All right, cool. She's dead. We did it. Yay. <laughs> it's done. So now we can get the real grimoire. Moving on. And Ask me anything. we have some clothes we just picked up that I want to see if Wynn can wear. Fire, health restoration in combat, that'll come in handy. <coughs> Armor and spell power. <coughs> We're going to put that on her. Also, it seems like she can wear the armor again, but I'm not going to risk that happening for a second time. Alright, let's return to our camp and give Morgan <coughs> this. <sighs> Grimoire. And she better be grateful. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it to her at the camp because it's just easier to do. Alright. Here we go. <coughs> first things first. Oh, marvelous. It'll do. Sure. Oh, how dear. You have excellent taste. All right, so. Interesting. <coughs> <coughs> Mother's real grimoire, is it? Yes. I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. You're welcome. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. All right, so that's been done, which means we can go here. <coughs> We're going to take Alistair, yes. we'll take Doug, and we'll take you. Yes. All right, so... <coughs> Pretty much done everything I wanted to do. Um, didn't get all of the side quests done, but that's just because I was very busy today. So let's go ahead and head to Redcliffe Village. <laughs> and uh, of course, everything is going to check. It's you! The Grey <coughs> Warden! Andraste's mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. What happened? Where is everyone? They all fled to the castle this <coughs> morning, before the Darkspawn arrived. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. Maybe you should get to safety. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again. Hi. Need something? I mean, it's not showing the curtain. So. Kill some dark spawn. Oh, great, 
they have like boots. That's a lot of blood. It It's a little too easy to knock these guys out of the park. I mean Yeah, I upgraded my weaponry and stuff, <laughs> but <clears throat> also, I have like 223 health potions. Uh, yeah, I think that might be enough. <laughs> I, uh, I went and bought a bunch of elf root and, uh... <laughs> that stop me. And I'm off. Going. Hey, watch it! I think putting the rune on my dagger that basically gives me power over the undead kind of helps with dark spawn. I know it sounds weird, but right. I mean it is helping, so I don't know why they're giving me a bunch of money considering the fact that I am about to go into Oh. Yeah, put me down. 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 No. Who takes dirt nap in the middle of battle? door is just completely gone. I guess I have to look around to see if there's any more. <coughs> Are they all going to be down here? Nope. Okay. Um, now what? <coughs> <coughs> I guess I have to head back up. Question? Let's head to the castle, I guess. And some dark yep. spawn. Going. 
of these ones. Oh, tits. <laughs> yes. Okay. My lady, you're here. Thank goodness. <laughs> What's happened? I don't rightly know. Riordan of the Grey Wardens arrived this morning, just ahead of the Darkspawn. I was told he has urgent news and to send out patrols to watch for your arrival. Then we were attacked. <coughs> Wait, I was prepared. There might be stragglers, but you seem to have taken care of most of them out here. That's <coughs> rather remarkable, really. All right, well, first things first, I'm going to go loot. These guys around here. <coughs> All right. And I'm also going to pickpocket the messenger. I was told <coughs> to watch for your arrival, Warden. Your comrade reordered. <laughs> I should take you to the hall right away, my lady. Thank They'll you. be waiting for you there. Okay, cool. I really wish there was like a pocket or something on my thing so I could put the chat. It's a relief to see you unharmed. And you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. The darkspawn that attacked Threadcliff were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. Of course! They are perhaps two days away from the capital. What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true... I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. We need to march at once. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. <coughs> the Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Oof. Make her preserve us. But we can't reach Denrim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denrim must be defended at all costs. The Horde must be defeated. But the Archdemon is our true target, and only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here <coughs> gives us the chance we need. Al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. And then we're off to war. I will give the orders at once, and we'll know the moment we are Ow. ready to march. That would be appreciated. Then if you and Alistair could meet me before you retire, we have Grey Warden business to discuss. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. All right. So we are getting close to... particular scene that I'm actually going to have to A, B, S, D <coughs> um <coughs> I'm probably not gonna show on camera because it Success. is highly suggestive and not very appropriate 
to say the least bit. <laughs> And so, once... Yeah, there she is. Hi, Morgan. How are you? There you are. Let's go see. Alright, so I don't know if I talk to her first. <coughs> what comes, my friend? Hey there, Sierra. Thank you for the lurk. <coughs> Alright, so I can't talk to her just yet. <coughs> First, we have to talk to Ryland. You're both here. Good. You're new to the Grey Wardens, and you may not have been told how an Archdemon is slain. I need to know if that is so. You mean there's more to it than just, say, chopping off its head? So it is true. Duncan had not yet told you. I had simply assumed. Tell me, have you ever wondered why <coughs> the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? something to do with the taint? That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn, but should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, <coughs> it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. Uh, doesn't sound very a healthy. A Darkspawn is an empty, <coughs> soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning, the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. <coughs> Then I'll take the final blow it myself. warms my heart to see such courage, but do not hurry so to sacrifice your life. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. <coughs> I am the eldest, and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelton before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow, and little enough time to rest before it. <coughs> let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march, then. I guess this ends soon, one way or another. That it does, my friend. <coughs> that it does. Alright, so... Now... Do, 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 do. I can go and talk to Morgan. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. Everything all right? I am well. It is you who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. Uh, okay. I know what <coughs> happens when the Archdemon dies. Do you know? I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed. And that sacrifice could be you. Yes. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. Okay. Uh. <coughs> I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. Oh, really? A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. Oh, what sort of ritual? It is old magic. From a time before the circle of Magi was created. I mean, I'm my character's Some asking this question, but I already magic. know. But I think that means little to one like you. Tell me. What I propose is this. Convince Alistair to lay with me here tonight. And from this ritual, a child shall be conceived with <coughs> me. The child will bear the taint. And when the archdemon mm. is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The archdemon is still destroyed so with you no want grey me to warden dying Alistair in the process. Alistair to pork you. <coughs> mm. I like what I'm hearing so far. In return, I conceive a child, one who will be born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away, and you do not follow, ever. 
The child will be mine to raise as I wish. All right. A wise decision. I shall wait here then while you go and speak with Alistair. I urge you to be convincing. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> let's go find Alistair and talk to him. <laughs> He's not going to be happy about this. I see you can't sleep either. I also saw Morrigan outside your room earlier. And the look she gave me. Ooh, even Ow. For her. Is something up? Yes. This is what I get important. for becoming king. Everyone always brings you the bad news. So what is it then? Rats running amok? Cheese supplies run low? I can take it. I need you to do something you won't like. I don't care for the sound of that. <laughs> what are we talking about exactly? <laughs> you need sleeping for me. <laughs> Cute. This is payback, right, for all the jokes? <clears throat> but you're not I'm, joking. I'm you're serious. You're actually serious? <laughs> wow. Be killed by the Archdemon or sleep with Morrigan. How does someone make that kind of choice? You're not actually yes, asking I am. Me this, are you? <laughs> uh, what kind of ritual is this, anyway? <clears throat> kind of ancient magic, I won't lie. It, to you, it'll produce a child. Don't ask. Magic is magic. Uh, well, that's reassuring. Wait, <coughs> no it isn't. Look, even if I was willing to do this, and I'm not saying I am, do you really think this is a good idea? You're my friend, but we're talking about It'll Morrigan. It'll save our lives. You need to trust, trust you. Me. I <coughs> very well. I do trust you. Oh, where is she? Let's go and get this over with before All right, I so change my I'm mind. Switching scenes because I don't want to get banned Could for what's about to happen. Great. <coughs> this isn't a dream after all. What is it to be, then? Has a decision been reached? Uh... Yes. Oh, you know, dinner would have been nice. Maybe a bit of wine. Or you could knock me out first. Tempting. Still, I am glad to see that it has been done. Let us go somewhere more private, <coughs> Alistair, and believe me when I say you will not hate this quite so much as you believe. <laughs> I can't show what's about to happen on camera, so that is why we are currently in chat. <coughs> it is very uncomfortable. I'll just tell you that much. <coughs> A wine and dine. Yeah. God, she's creepy. <laughs> Add some context to this. All right, we can switch back now. Um, are they going to cosplay rabbits? <laughs> oh, jeez. Basically, what happened was Morgan walked into Alistair's room and nothing but her underwear climbed up on the bed. We Alistair looked scared AF and she looked creepy AF and now Morgan is pregnant with the illegitimate son of a king. So, y'all are filled in. <laughs> on the, the bright side, though, is sure to reach the none of the course. Grey Wardens are going to have to die so we now. we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance. We must not forsake them. So they cosplay. You violence. have gathered yes. an army yes, to did. replace the one lost <laughs> at Ostagar, Grey Warden. Let us pray that it will be enough. Let's see. We have the Dalish elves, we have mages, we have. Dwarves and an entire army from elsewhere. <laughs> Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. 
Gaze upon them now, but fear them not. The woman you see beside me is a dwarf, raised to the ranks of the Grey Wardens. This is not her home, and yet still she fights with honor and passion. I have to passion. admire games that give you she multiple has survived despite the odds and without choices her, none for of us reasons. would be here. Because they had Today, to we record pretty much Today, the same lines. We avenge the death of my brother King Kalan. But change but up a all, bit for each race. Today we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice. For Ferelden! For the Grey Wardens! Here goes nothing. The final battle. The moment of truth. The fact that I am alone on the battlefield. Again, my blade is enchanted against Dark Spot. So, when we go into the final battle, I'm debating on who I want to take. I have to take Alistair, and I have to take Win. Character that I can take with. Instead, I'm going to take with basically Time to dance. redeem himself for something he did. So I'm probably going to take him with to fulfill my promise to him. Allowing him to redeem his past mistakes by saving the I would take Liliana, but whoever it is I need to talk to.
You've managed to fight your way to the gates. We're doing better than I hoped. That will change quickly. Bloody nug runners are outnumbered three to one. What are we to do now, Riordan? You have a plan, I assume. The army will not last long, so we need to move quickly to reach the Archdemon. Yes, we do. I suggest taking Alistair and no more than two others with you into the city. Anyone you don't bring with you can remain here to prevent more Darkspawn from entering Denerim on our tails. <laughs> We're going to need to reach a high point in the city. I'm thinking the top of Fort Draken might work. The top of... You want to draw the dragon's attention? Yes. We have little choice. Though I warn you <laughs> yeah, that as soon like as we idea. engage the beast, it will call <coughs> all its generals to help it. I can sense two generals in Denerim. You may wish to seek them out before going to Fort Draken. I am sure that if we did slay those generals, it would stop the dark... Oh, hey, Morgan's still with us. <laughs> it may also waste resources trying to find them. So actually, the decision I have to take Morgan to with me to fight the Archdemon because she has to be up there, so... I'm ready. There are already several units of our allies within the city by now. They may be able to come to your assistance if you call them, but their strength will be limited. So I guess I'm limited. taking Morgan. Now, who do you wish to take with you into the city? Alright, well, I need to take Alistair yes. because he's part of that. We'll take Morgan. Indeed. And... <coughs> I guess we'll take Sten. Yes. Just because I'm keeping my promise Fair to enough. him. Fair enough. Anyone else will need to remain here and assist in keeping more Darkspawn from coming in the gates behind us. Who will lead them? Let's just move into the blasted main <coughs> event already. Good. I'll put that should be sufficient. Nothing you have done has prepared you for what you face now. May the Maker watch over you. Well, this is it, Warden. When from the blood of battle the stone is fed, let the heroes prevail and the blighters lie dead. <laughs> As one of the blighters, I sodding salute you. Let's show them our hearts. And then show them theirs. <laughs> Don't worry, Dater Dad, I'll be back. <laughs> Are you ready? The enemy waits. Shall we grant him the death he asks of us? <clears throat> it's only fair. Then let us bring this <laughs> gift to the Archdemon. We will take the field and stand together to see our enemy fall. So this is it? This is the end? We've come <coughs> so far. It's strange knowing that all our fates will be decided in a matter of hours. I wish I could go with you. Be safe, friend. And may the Ouch, maker friend. smile fortune on you. Heading off to slay Jeez. dragons without me, hmm? Fine, fine. Say hello to the Archdemon for me. He never writes anymore. It's rather distressing. <laughs> and do watch your back. No getting eaten, unless you think it's really important, of course. <laughs> so we head into the city together, <coughs> as it should be. Once this is done, no matter how it turns out, I will be gone. You are aware of this, yes? I was hoping you'd stay for I the celebration. I do not think that would be right. <coughs> Allow me to say only one thing before we go. I knew nothing of friendship before we met. And I will always consider you such. Live well, my friend. Aw, is Morgan gonna cry? Live gloriously. Now, <coughs> let us see this finally She done. has a heart, everybody! The archdemon. We thought awaits. that she was a before heartless we archdemon, bird, but no, she has something. a heart. I know Morrigan's what she did is supposed to save us but who knows if she can be trusted or if we'll even survive long enough to take that final blow so I just want you to know that it's been an honor fighting by your side to the honor of the Grey Wardens <laughs> jeez Alistair you're depressing anybody else want to say anything? Win? 
No? For once, Win has nothing to say. It is a miracle, everybody. She doesn't want to speak. level up Alistair. Definitely need to get his constitution up. Alright. Morgan. I'm not really sure why. Spirit healer. Constitution. Magic. And strength. <coughs> Alright, good. She can make a bunch of health potions. Group heal. Let's give her that. Revival, yes. Alright, now we're gonna equip these into Morgan's inventory, and she better use them. Alright. Oh, one more, yeah. I almost forgot that we have to level up Sten. I also need to give him a blade. Berserker. Let's just do auto level on him because he has a ton of points to use. Alright. First things first. <coughs> Give him that. I think I have a shield that he can use. Let's see what else we have. What he currently has on has pretty good stats. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep the armor that he currently has on. have some books. I'll use that one on him. <coughs> Alright. Then I have one more that I can use on myself. Just do an auto level and okay, we're good to go. <coughs> We've seen the entire city is overrun. Kill those godless bastards! We're counting on you, Warden! Make a watch over you! Alright, off we go. So we need to go to the market district to take out one of the generals, and the other general is in the alienage. <coughs> All right, off we go. Never any shortage of these ones. And I'm off. All right, I'm game. I do have the ability to call allies. However, I want to give you a chance. You will not win. Yes, to use in the battle. Point me. Yes. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> Too bad for you. Got another health potion. More health potions. So now we just have to find the general. Money in the rubble. Okay. I do find it funny how all of the doors. Oh, I should have brought my dog. Damn it. Just a second, I want to see something. Is it worth bringing him along? no save that I can go back to to get him, so. Fudge. Oh well. One of these days I'll play through this game and remember to take More him dark with me. Spawn, eh? Mother, I have brought you flesh. <laughs> All right, so we killed one general. <coughs> Looks like the other general has made its way to the market district, or the palace district, I mean. I don't think there's any point to really going to the alienage. I'm gonna go there anyways. <coughs> I don't know if there's a point to it. The general's not here. But I feel that I need to try to save some of the elves. You! It's you! <coughs> Maker sure gave you the gift of good timing, didn't he? There's a large group of Darkspawn approaching and the gates won't hold. We need your help. Uh, uh, let's get the All right. I only hope there is time to... They're breaking through! Run, all of you! Run for your lives! Defend the alienage. Yeah. I wanted to make sure that I could
Dude, get out of there. You were going to get crushed by that gate. <laughs> Never any shortage of these ones. Once they get inside the gate, that... <laughs> and I'm off. You saved many lives here today. Thank you. Please, take this. I pray it helps you in your coming battles. We have to go. May the Maker watch over you. Alright, cool. I could have swore I had my dog mark that tree. <coughs> I guess not. Well, moving on. Okay, I guess I have to go back this way. Uh. Gotta go to the other gate. Let's go to the palace district and see what's going on there. 
said he could only sense two generals, but I'm pretty sure there's more than just two. <coughs> for that. I wasn't planning on going back that way anyways. Prick. <coughs> oh joy. Alright. I'm taking off my socks. Because of the fact that my feet keep sliding on the hardwood floor, meaning that I cannot sit comfortably because my feet keep deciding to slip from where I have them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beware! A large group of darkspawn <coughs> have broken away from the battle. They're charging this way! They'll be here any minute! I forgot that I am. <coughs> Jesus. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to trade out the blade that he has on him for this, and I'm going to give the Summer Sword to Sten. in the Legion armor. It's time to battle. Look now, dark Emissary, please. It is done. Anything. Uh, 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 
crowd the gates. Okay, is that it? We defeated them. <coughs> Shall I send word that the gates are secured? Yes. Right away. Right. All right. Well, back to me. And I can give Sten this blade. Dragon made it to the top of the fort. <coughs> so that's a bonus. And of course, my neighbor's driving down the street, blasting his radio again. We get it! against people who like listening to loud music but when you come down the street every day blasting music in your car knowing that there's people here some of them are trying to sleep why some of these soldiers aren't wearing shoes? Are the Darkspawn stealing shoes now? <coughs> what? You don't know how to use stairs? Yes. thing. On someone. I don't care who. Where is... so many flipping levels. <laughs> if I 
can get far enough away, then maybe they'll heal, but I doubt it. <coughs> severely boned right now. Stretch. I will stretch as soon as I am safe. I am I am bubbernucked. Like I am beyond screwed. Just trying to get through this teeny tiny little section. And this is stupid. Like, oh my gosh. Go away. Go away. Get your health potion, thank you. stand here until everybody's healed and get them all over here and there we go. Alright. Stretch. Uh, I'm stretched. There we go. Oof. <laughs> oh jeez. That was tense. Like why the fuck Morgan are you not using your ability to heal? Seriously, I need to fix that. Maybe if I put it as her main ability, she might use it more often. <coughs> Alright. I did. What I did is that whenever I needed to heal people, Cold I took caster all. erupts with a call of cold frost freezing target solid unless they pass physical resistance checks, only their movement otherwise. Targets frozen solid can be shattered. Okay, yes. <coughs> Let's give her this and this. Alright. <coughs> now, let's also check everyone else. Um. Myself included in this. <coughs> I don't need any pickpocketing abilities just yet. Yes, you're gonna pickpocket a dragon. There's a new question. Where's the pockets? Alright, there we go. Alistair. I think most of Alistair's abilities that he has equipped are perfectly fine. So we're gonna leave that alone. <coughs> Goddamn cough. Alright, let's do a quick save. Cause I don't want to screw myself over again. All right. Now, <clears throat> I believe there was one more emissary, which uh, is the what enemy was... approaches. Come on. Yes. <laughs> so I have to go up those stairs over there. Ooh, there's a chest. I wonder if I can get to the chest without alerting anybody. Oh. 
over with. I mean, there's not much in it, but there's a chest. All right, let's go ahead and get this over with. Where's that emissary that I had seen? There it is. Get up! Such as that. Because that gives me five instead of four. Or one. Okay, where is this other enemy? Come on, Spidey! myself up real quick. <clears throat> I'm just gonna You can hear the spider's little feet skitter. Alright, so now we have to go up these stairs. And actually I'm gonna go ahead and save <coughs> once again. Once you hit this point, saving periodically is recommended. <clears throat> Just cause you never Try. know. So simple to see, really. Alright, so I see that they have an emissary. I am immediately going after it first. As soon as I get my foot up. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's not helping. As you can see, I did save before I came up here, so... I just have to get away from that archer. Okay. Think someone's gonna attack me? I go. It shall be as you say. It is done. So be it. Yes. So be it. I can't. I gotta take out the big guy first. Otherwise, it's not gonna matter. As you wish. I go. Yes. How are you whipping this? It is. I go. As you wish. Here. All right. Excuse us while we just teleport over all over. Wait, 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 wait. Before you move on. What? Here's Morgan to heal. Okay, to get the rest We of automatically heal back up once all the enemies are gone. <coughs> yeah. I don't understand why everybody's... What's the other life bar right there? You come up. You don't see it? There's a life bar below my stuff. Right next to your map. That's not a life bar, that is the allies that I can summon, but I am holding on to them because I don't want to use them up. Now everyone is you know they recharge. taking turns napping. Right? You know they recharge, right? No, they don't. Once you use up a specific group, that's it. You can't use them again, and I'm mm. holding on to them for the Archdemon. <laughs> Alright, so final confrontation. Never any shortage of these. Oh, I got a dragon throw. <laughs> And an emissary. Three? What the hell? No way! I'm gonna die. I'm stunned. I don't like being stunned. Alright, let's go. Take out these guys. And now I'm trapped in this bull crap. Morgan? You know what? You Do your ding dang job! Potion, get this guy, health potion. Direct me. Here I am. Yes. And I'm being attacked by bees! Always with bees. Alright, where's the other one? Oh, there's one more. Well, it's a 
good thing I saved before I came up here. I have it on the easiest difficulty as well. <laughs> oh, I hate this so much. And I'm burning up. I'm stuck in my sweater. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, I guess I'm using some of my allies in this one. Wimpster. <laughs> yeah. Alistair definitely, I don't, I don't understand. You could put his freaking health up to 100 and he'd still die. More foul More dark story. All right, so advance. Let's see, who do you want to call? Those are the Red Cliff soldiers. Those are the dwarves. I'm going to keep the elves because those are archers. And I'm going to keep the mages. So let us call in these guys. <laughs> I'm going to try to head directly towards these guys and get them taken out right away. And I am trapped. Gosh! Summon spider! I seen it! I went to stop! <laughs> I got stuck. <laughs> I need to take out the mages. Then everything else was cinched. health potions on them. Huh. I'm just gonna if you insist. take out these barricades. All right. <coughs> yes. Because it gives me XP whenever I do that as well. And I'm off. Going. Hey, babe, did you start the washer? do yet another save. Everybody is healed up and good. Alright. Actually, hold on a second. I just realized that some of Adventure's us not over yet. need to use these. Because <laughs> that is part of the reason why we're dying so quickly. Off I go. So that we I am here. Have injuries that we need to take care of. Why are we still here? All right. Now we can move on. <coughs> I forgot to say it again after I did that. Hmm. Okay. Well, it auto-saved here, so that's fine. Alright, so now we're in the fort. Same fort that we escaped it's from. It's done, naturally. Yesterday. Alright. 
right. Oh, let's go. Hold on before we. Oh, I can't. I want to be able to summon my spider. And unfortunately, I have to wait for it to recharge. <laughs> and it recharges so slowly. <coughs> so I'm going to have to wait. point is of the blank whatever but all right where are you at shades ignoring the emissary down here. Alright. <laughs> I don't know why I just tried to talk to my spider. And done. Excuse me. I don't know what the corpse gall is for, but apparently you're allowed to collect a bunch of it. I don't really need all this Moving stuff. On. I'm just success. Something on your mind? No. I was not trying to talk to you, Alistair. I was literally just trying to collect stuff. <coughs> I'm just trying. Is there any reason to go down there? Oh, okay. Just trying to make sure I don't leave any stone unturned. Because more health potions would be nice at this point. We're down to a hundred and fifty-eight. Ah, oh, this reminds me of that time. 
What time? Well, all the puppers are gone. That sucks. We could have used them. <coughs> Enchantment? Do you have any of your dad's things? <coughs> Probably should give that staff to Morgan. I don't think he has any worth buying. Nope. Okay. Let's just sell all this stuff. And literally, Morgan does not like being put in anything other than what she has on at the moment. <coughs> Which sucks, but that is just who she is. <coughs> I have nothing equipped on my dog, so I'm gonna grab that. Good! He has health potions, which we can use. I'm also going to buy Illyrium potions, because we need those as well. And we'll get some injury kits too, because... <coughs> <coughs> okay, he doesn't have any elf root, which is fine. I'll take the silverite rune. And the lightning rune, because why not? I want to buy back that collar because I'm going to put it on my dog. Er, there it is. Alright. <coughs> also. Enchantment? Yes. Enchantment! Alright. Equipped by Alistair. Let's give him. And electricity damage. Summer sword. We're gonna give you one that like is gonna play it. Actually we're going I don't know what the stats are on that one real quick. Let me check. <coughs> Because I want to make sure that everybody is... Hit minus is her willpower, but it does give her mana regeneration in combat, which is what she needs. We're going to go ahead and give you that. Alright, let's check this. Strength, willpower, and damage. But the summer sword is better because it does have 15 damage. So yeah, we'll just stick to what we have. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> All right, moving on. It's nice that just sandals randomly there. I I don't know why, but he is. I mean, I'm not complaining. Good thing. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so we can open that door. Can't open that door, can we? No, we cannot. Okay. So this is the door that we have to go through.
do feel like we need to save real quick. Before continuing. Alright, so there's a chest up there, there's a door there. With. It's another health potion, which is nice. Success. That's something that can be sold later. <coughs> All right. Well, let's keep going. Even more dark spawn. Sense of theme. think he has any interest. <coughs> Alright, so this just goes down here. I don't think there's anything worth... Nope, there's nothing down here. Alright. Just in here. Moving on. <coughs> and, and done. This is one of those everything is very confusing. You have to play which door is the right door until you get to the right door. Getting to use my other abilities, so <laughs> alright. Why is it saying there's another? <coughs> oh, because there's another door. Here, did they? Was it worth coming in here? We shall see. Mushrooms. If the next box that I look in has mushrooms in it, good. I didn't have to finish the sentence. All right. Well, I'm gonna go back to the big room that I was in and take a closer look around because. I feel like I may have missed some stuff. <coughs> mm. 
Mm, nope. Didn't miss a damn thing. Okay. You know, I'm shocked at the fact that this is a weapons storage and there's hardly any weapons to be had. <laughs> <coughs> Anything over here? Nope. Someone's playing chess. Looks like they lost. And an auto save. That ought to be good. More dark Oh yeah, an emissary. Too easy. Ah, why are we glitch lagging? Please don't do that. <laughs> Let's go check the downstairs. It's done naturally. Okay. Well, they're not giving me a ton of health and potions, which is done. mildly concerning. because I believe if I walk through that door over there there they are oh, over with success there's the health potions I was looking for all right so I have some elf root <coughs> don't think so all right I have 188 health potions not sure that's going to be enough, but we shall see. Anyway, before we go to the roof, we're going to save real quick. <coughs> Alright, well. Let's summon... <coughs> Our archers. way to deal the most damage to the arch demon is <laughs> using the ballistas that are scattered oh, around the rooftop. Yes. First things first though, I am going to summon We have 12 of them. We're going to summon our archers and I am going to make my way towards one of the ballistas and start running. So we're going to try to get the ballista pointed directly at the ballista and then we're going to pull. Nope. Pull! Done. as far away from her as possible. Where's she going? Oh, she's staying right there. Okay.
assuming, not intentionally assuming her gender, but I'm assuming that it is a female. <laughs> also, another reason why I try to stay as far away from her as possible is because she uses that, and that will take a good chunk of her. somewhere else. So everybody's gonna start doing their thing. Oh there she is. She's on the other side. Alright, I have to get over here. <coughs> glitches out sometimes. Going. I want to murder you. Yes. Could you please just take it out? As you wish. Where did she go? <coughs> I shall do it. I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is. 
standing here waiting right there. there. Ah, shoot. I am trapped. Ugh. This, I don't like it. Um, Alistair's down. Okay. <laughs> fell down. Could you guys do something about the creature that's chasing me? I shall do it. Could you keep running, please? Thank you. And there goes Morgan. So now we are both. up of this.
And then it was over. <coughs> With the archdemon dead, the darkspawn horde quickly crumbled. My question is how Most is fled Duncan back into the deep roads? Narrating would remain a threat if he died to come. In the but beginning. the blight had been ended before it had truly begun. I mean, that, that's what confuses me. <coughs> For Eldon had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king. Grey Warden stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? Talking about at what cost? All right. <coughs> my friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible oh, for like our my victory. Sister came. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn Siege of Denver, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. The one who led the final charge against the Archdemon remains with us still. An inspiration to all she saved that day. I Ladies love how everyone is dressed you, in like formal wear, and I'm the still wearing my armor. Like I couldn't even be bothered. Four centuries ago. <coughs> my friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. Is there any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? If it is within my power, I will grant it. <clears throat> I only wish to continue to serve the crown. <coughs> I only ask that my people be aided against the dark spawn. And absolutely. <laughs> the dwarves face the dark spawn every day, don't they? Ferelden hereby offers its full military support to the new king of Orzammar, and will aid in reclaiming the deep roads. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Hau, <laughs> is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? <coughs> <coughs> that they do. I'm glad one of us is staying with them at least. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just <laughs> tell the guard at the door when you're ready. Okay. Well, let's talk to Alistair. So, <coughs> we made it. <coughs> I'm impressed, aren't you? The odds were completely against one of us actually getting to the Archdemon. But of course you would make it. I knew you would. I bet this had something to do with that night. With Morrigan. Why you're still here, I mean. I'm not that dumb. The rest of the Grey Wardens haven't arrived yet for more lay. But they've already sent questions. What should I tell them? That a Malefica saved you and then ran off to have my demon baby? <laughs> that has a certain ring to it, right? <laughs> no, I suppose I'll just keep that to myself. I can shrug and look stupid. It's a talent. <coughs> Speaking of Morrigan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. I don't know, but I'll find Good her. riddance, I say. Uh, at any rate, so, I can see Arleman giving me that look. Unfortunately, the DLCs for this are no stuff, longer available on the Xbox. I can never wait. And the only way and to get, get the, the DLCs is to get the box set, which also right. features uh, Dragon Age Awakening, which is a precursor to what I believe is a precursor to the Inquisition. <laughs> I'll let you get to your adoring public. They want um, to see the but there is Ferelden, a DLC waiting. quest 
called um, Witch Hunt, where it is you go after I Morgan. You, believe it. you stopped the Civil War and um, then defeated the Blight. On behalf of Ferelden, I'm not entirely sure again. what all it the DLC applies, because I never got to try it out. <coughs> We're Grey Warden, that's what we do. <laughs> so I'm learning. It's too bad that you aren't remaining here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden would have influence, but I understand. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, and Isold refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. Tell me, have you noticed anything strange about the lad? He seems I should probably what? tell him. Connor's been through. <coughs> ah, you are no doubt correct. It is my imagination. I okay, so I don't have the but choice. Here I am to rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. Now let's talk to Ricka. A Grey Warden, and now a hero too? A bit different from the slums, huh? Mother swore off drinking when she heard about what you did. She's been sober ever since, <laughs> and as ill as a fell cat in water. I should tell you, the Assembly actually sent me here. Officially, I'm an ambassador. Can you imagine? <laughs> me. Apparently, miracles abound these days. They want me to tell you that you're free to return to Orzammar. They've made you a full citizen. Technically, you're warrior cast. That's incredible. Of course, <coughs> that means Mother has risen up too. She's been lording it over all her friends, calling them lowly peasants. I hear they're considering making you a paragon. Statue and everything. <coughs> Not bad, sister. Well, well, Not well. Bad at all. Paragon, you say. Anyhow, Don't I worry, I won't let it get to my head like Bronca. I'd like to forget that there's Not a gonna giant go sky up there. Here. How they live up here, <coughs> I'll never know. Well, I'm gonna go talk to Liliana. So here we are. The conquering heroine has won the day, and now she takes her bow and exits the state. She still has her bunny thing with ending. her. <laughs> but does the heroine get the I girl? I don't know. I haven't read that part yet, have I? <laughs> You'll have to tell me. The hero always gets the girl. Oh, <laughs> is that how it is? <laughs> You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly is. I've been asked by the Chantry to return to the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I need to make sure it's protected. Maybe pilgrims can even begin going there again. Congratulations, I expect fun. to leave a month from now <coughs> with a small army of Templars and priests. It will be a grand adventure. <laughs> I hope I will see you before I leave to say goodbye. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. We can speak another time. <laughs> All right. So there's Zevran. There's Wynn. We just need to talk to the rest of our allies. I will be relieved when all this pomp and <coughs> ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment. Which would be a welcome break, mind you. A bloodbath sounds like fun. You see? <laughs> this is why I like you. Always game for a little fun. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that you were planning <coughs> on returning to the Grey Warden Fold soon. <clears throat> is that true? Why are you thinking of joining? A Grey Warden? Me? Oh, no, no, no. There are some bodily fluids even I won't touch. <laughs> the Grey Wardens seem to be a fun bunch to hang around, however. Maybe they won't mind a resident assassin. I'm an excellent mascot. I'd be happy for the company. And I promise not to get you into too much trouble. Uh, well, no more than you get me into, anyhow. <laughs> well then, since we're going to be leaving <coughs> together, uh, we can speak after you have been sufficiently paraded in front of the populace. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no one gets a clear shot. Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. 
Thanks, Zevran. I feel so safe. <laughs> the hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? A little strange. Of that, I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's not so bad, is it? <coughs> a blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? Didn't do it on my own. I don't think many heroes ever do. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the At young least you're wearing head. clothes. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter. But I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to accept a position here at court. There's not been a mage advising the throne for a very long time. Sound like fun. I understand <coughs> you will be leaving. I wish you good fortune on your journeys, wherever they may take you. If we do not see each other again, live well, Warden. And thank you. Alright. Ogren. I need to go see puppers. I can't talk to puppers. Alright. They call you <coughs> Hero. I have not heard it used before, but I think I understand the intent. The Arishok, on occasion, has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vel would be too proud. Kunari do not celebrate and put on... Do the Kunari celebrate and put on parades? When a Kunoran Vel is declared, certainly. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. <laughs> Didn't think the Kunari could enjoy themselves. We take great joy in every aspect of our lives. The Kyun demands it. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done. And thus, so is my reason for accompanying you. And I was just starting to get used to you. And I to you. <coughs> it must be said, you gave me the chance to redeem my honor, and now it is done. I owe you a debt. You've helped me as well. It's been good. It has. That one of the Baz, a foreigner, would become known as Kadan to me. Unthinkable. Yet here it is. Perhaps I shall see you again one day. Until then, may you always find the path you seek. Farewell, Kadan. Interesting. All right, last one. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> the ale up here is actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. Go figure. Think you might go back to Orzammar? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe eventually. I got offered a spot in the human army. And not as a mascot either. You know, these humans aren't bad for all their long legs. <coughs> You're done adventure adventuring? They could use some cannon fodder. You'll need to straighten up some. General Arvin, not bad. Yeah, makes me wish Bronca <coughs> was still around so she could see what she's missing. <laughs> yeah, stupid girl. Ah, uh, well, enough babbling. That pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. It's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. All right, so that is everyone. Are you ready, my lady? <coughs> outside are getting restless. <coughs> yep, let's go. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me. All right. In the months that follow this coronation, Alexander proved to be a popular king, if largely unwilling to improve himself in matters of governing. He traveled often, making appearances in towns throughout Ferelden, great delight to the commoners. They referred to him as the king with the common touch, even if few knew it was simple evasion of life at court. 
News that the urns of sacred ashes had been found in Ferelden did not spread outside the Chantry until Brother Genetivi made the announcement several months after the defeat of the Darkspawn. The manuscript detailing his research and experience with Andraste's cult drew huge interest among scholars throughout Thetis. Some years later, the Chantry announced the resting place of Andraste's ashes had indeed been found. A ripple of excitement spread among the pious people of Thetis, with many undertaking pilgrimages to see the ashes and partake in their healing powers. <coughs> Following the months of effort, the Tower of the Circle of Magi finally cleansed of the last spirits to slip through the veil, no further abominations were created, and the first enchanter was pleased to declare the circle safe. All that could be saved had been. With slavers shut down in the alien age, a lot of the chantry, a lot of the city-born elves improved for a time. The new king even named a local elder his personal court, to his personal court. A scandal amongst the humans, but a sign of new hope to the elves. Shawnee continued to be an outspoken member of the alien age community, and in time became the new elder. That outspokenness earned her frequent trouble, but served her people well. Arl Eamon remained in Denerim for some time, acting as Chancellor and Chief Advisor to King Alistair. King Tegan ruled over Redcliffe in his stead and was surprised to find himself well-loved by the villagers, who were still grateful for the nights he spent defending their lives. In time, Eamon advocated in favor of his brother, and the ev a an event the locals greeted with approval and enthusiasm. Dalish elves prospered after the siege on Denerim, having earned much respect for their part in the battle. For once, human lands welcomed the wandering folk. The new keeper, Lyanna, was respected both amongst the Dalish as well as the Ferelden court. She was a voice of reason and the other Dalish clans would turn to her to help resolve disputes with human folk. In time, many Dalish clans moved to new lands provided for them in the south near Ostagar, wary of their human neighbors, however, tensions soon rose again, and only Keeper Liana's leadership kept peace alive. Ozamar, in Ozamar, King Balin quickly proved himself a reformer. Trade with the surface lands increased, and the caste restrictions were loosened. The castless were permitted to take arms against the Darkspawn in exchange for new freedom. For the first time in generations, the line in the deep roads was pushed back and a few tigs were reclaimed. <clears throat> Balin's reforms quickly found him enemies within the warrior and noble caste, however, and after several assassination attempts, the assembly was dissolved. The king then ruled alone, and some say as a tyrant, others say as a visionary, determined to drag Orzammar into the modern world. The assembly anonymously declared... I can't even pronounce my own character's name. <laughs> a living paragon following the months of deliberation a new statue was etched in the commons a new house founded in the paragon's name quickly drawing a great number of followers from every caste brother burkle's new chantry drew a surprising number of converts among the dwarves they quickly attracted a great deal of anger from more conserved quarters and before long the assembly severely restricted andraste's right brother burkle resisted and was slain while being arrested during a peaceful demonstration in the commons. Oh boy. <clears throat> the assembly claimed this was an accident, but news of the resulting riots reached the chantry on the surface, where the divine even con contemplated a new exalted march. The dwarven mage, Dagna, ultimately completed her studies and re at the rebuilt circle tower eventually she published a comprehensive theory on how lyrium vapors relate to the supply of magic it gained great deal of attention although the anvil was destroyed rumors about the location crept into orzammar years later thanks to the defeat of the dark spawn in the surface a few determined smiths managed to locate the anvil's remains they examined the ruins of the anvil, and upon returning to Orzammar, their, their findings convinced the Shaperit to attempt to recreate Keridan's research. A new golem was created and bound with a spirit taken from the Fade. The golem immediately went insane, killing several Shapers before it was destroyed. The research was banded excessively dangerous and sealed away. Whispers of its existence circulated throughout Orzammar, however, and a man amongst the smiths cast to reopen his research refused to abate. 
As good to her as good as her word, Morgan disappeared once the archdemon was slain. Someone of Morgan's description was seen traveling alone months later, heading west through Frostback Mountains, and she may even have been with child. The companions who traveled with Adrantine eventually scattered to the four winds, drawn either by personal duty or call or the call to further adventure. The Grey Wardens welcomed their hero back into the fold, gladly eager to receive a hero who faced the Archdemon and lived to pass on the knowledge. When the Blighted Lands began to heal, the Grey Wardens slowly rebuilt their order in Amaranthine. They discovered that the fight against the Darkspawn was not yet complete. Although the Horde was routed, and had been dissolved upon the Archmeaton's death, many of the more powerful Darkspawn survived the organized roving war bands that preyed upon the land and upon each other. These war bands spread havoc, some even journeyed west to Orlais or across the Shining Sea by the deep roads. They proved incredibly difficult to wipe out. <coughs> But these are tales yet to be told. This tale ended when Anadrantine sank her blade into the Archdemon's head and destroyed it forever. It was not the last time that Ferelden would hear of her, however. Alright, so that is the end of that. Um, I think I might have a little bit of time to... Um, start up the second one. <coughs> so let me get that loaded. <coughs> but yeah, so the reason why it said that wouldn't be the last time that she would be heard of is because after Dragon Age Origins is complete, there's a s another spin-off of the game called uh, Dragon Age Awakening, where you go up against one of the mentioned stronger darkspawn that survived the <coughs> Archdemon dying, and uh, you gain, you have Ogryn who comes back. Um, and he becomes a Grey Warden. You have- actually, I can't play the second one. I have to go on to my Dragon Keep and, uh, take care of that. So we're gonna end the stream here in a minute. Um, <coughs> actually, I think I can go here. Let's see. I don't know if I remember my password for Dragon Keep. Uh, let's see. Dragon Age Keep. Sign in. Uh, login? I don't think I changed my password for my EA account. But yeah, what happens is you gain a new follower. Um, or a couple new followers, actually. Uh, but Ogryn comes back and becomes a Grey Warden. You have, um, I forget what his name is. Alright, let's see what we have going on here. Um, okay, it looks like my current dragon keep is fine. Um, you get a guy who's pretty much possessed by, um, <coughs> the, uh, possessed by a spirit from the Fade. I did not broker peace. 
I sided with the wolves. Let's unlock that. Right, choose this answer. Okay, um, <clears throat> I did not bring them together. <coughs> We're just gonna say we didn't encounter them. Allowed the hollow to be killed, I did that. Returned him, I did that. Brought Varathorn, did that. And I told him about her fate. Um, <coughs> Uh, my companion, I relation had a relationship with Liliana. Um, let's see what we have going on here. But yeah, so I'm going to end the stream here. I'm going to get all my stuff for Dragon Keep edited um, with my decisions. And then <coughs> we will pick up the second one probably sometime within the next few weeks. So I will see you guys tomorrow for um, Alice the Madness Returns. You guys get to watch me lose my mind. So until then, stay safe, stay healthy, <coughs> and I will see you all next time. Bye!